So we're here just a block away from the employer. The workers have all, have all met and we've agreed upon a plan. We're demanding a meeting for today that he negotiate. And if not today, that he give us a date that he keep to and respect. Um, and we're going to accept nothing less than a commitment to negotiate. So um, we're going to proceed. It looks like we're all here and we're going to head right over. There is, there is a door for a... Something equal if you don't mind. If you don't want to talk to us something, we can do this. Hey, he's gonna scare because he's gonna lose more than us. I felt like um, this section was it was pretty well planned out. The the workers um, made some good decisions with how it was that they wanted to proceed, um, and it was very thought out. Everyone had their particular role, um, and you know we knew what we were going in there for. Um, and we had, you know, some backup plans in case it didn't go the way that we was hoping it would go. Um, we knew what follow-up steps we were going to do, um, and the workers were all in agreement, which was, which was key. Um, so, you know, of course, it, you know, it was something we couldn't anticipate was the, the store being closed. But um, at the same time, you know, we were able to follow up with the next plan and get him on the phone. And you know, the fact that he returned the phone call, I think, is key. Um, and, and shows some goodwill on his part um, and hopefully gave the workers some hope that, you know, this is, this is a good step forward. At the end of the day, when things were really outside of what I could handle, when things were beyond my capabilities, the only thing that would settle me and would make me feel better was being able to sit down at a piano and being able to just work it through. Um, and that was pretty much what kept me sane. Um, and that was what got me through my degree, that was what um, got me through basically anything. It helped me to put my childhood into perspective, it helped me to put any love interest I had into perspective. Um, it was a form of therapy. So for me, when I made the transition into being a music teacher, it went beyond simply paying the bills. It went into, I'm going to teach these kids all that I wasn't equipped with so that I can send them out as young musicians and they can, they can deal, they can handle things. Um, I went into it with the perspective of how could I not teach music? It gave me everything I have, physically, mentally, you know, um, it gave me everything I have, so how could I not want to pass that on, to give 
that same luxury to another student, um, to another person. And it changed my teaching philosophy as well because what it did for me was it made me not want to teach my kids like, you have to be a prodigy, you have to do this. I didn't want to walk into it feeling that way because some, I mean, people have different abilities. I wanted to walk into it with the sense that when I left that student, they had the love. That was it, that they, they could find something in it that they would love, that they would not grow up in 15 years from now when they're on the Board of Education, they will not vote down that music program because that was what saved me. Is that really easy there at the end?